Hello and welcome to the instructional video for the World Book Encyclopedia brought to you by the Davis County Public Library. The World Book Encyclopedia is basically just like it was um, when you were growing up, the print versions. Now it is all completely online, completely interactive, and completely free through your library. So I'm going to show you how to access World Book Encyclopedia using your library card and also some of the features that you may run into that you would need to help your child with distant with digital learning or NTI. All right. So first of all, make sure that you're on the Davis County Public Library homepage. To get there, you would just type in dcplibrary.org. Once you're on our homepage, you're going to go up to online resources. Okay, it may prompt you to log in with your library account. So your library account, you can log in with a username that you've created or your library barcode. So that's the number on the back of your library card. You'll also need a six digit pin number to log in. That's also, a, that's a pin number you would have been given when you signed up for your card. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, you can contact us at the library or come in or send us a chat. All right, so we're going to go on down to World Book Encyclopedia. I'm going to select it here, and it's going to bring us to the main page of World Book Encyclopedia, okay, because it is available for all ages. Okay, you'll notice that there are a few different options for it. So you have early learning and kids, which are the two that we're mainly interested in right now. So maybe you have a preschooler or a kindergartner even that this would benefit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select early learning just to show you what it looks like. Go into that. And see creatures, activities, from seek my body. <laughs> from this home page for early learning you can watch videos about animals which are See located videos. Up here so what it does is it is going to narrate everything that i click on games so this is ex especially helpful for your children that don't yet know how to read so they would be able to navigate this website themselves stories activities all right so there's lots of different options for you for your child to play with on here um, if you select the interactive sea activity creatures. in the middle like this one today it's sea creatures so you'll get to learn sea about sh shark you'll get to learn about all of these different sea creatures um, you can click on them you can do activities, activities. related to the sea creatures um, let's scroll down and see Queen here Tri Spotted eagle rays. Here are colorful your, fish. Here are your videos. Here are the games that you could do related to sea creatures. Matching. So if I wanted to play. play a matching game related to sea creatures, drag play. each sea animal to its match. So I can do that. Drag all of these here. Um, if I need help, I can always click on the question mark or I can lock, close out of it. All right. So we're going to go back. So the biggest difference in this activities. World Book Early Learning and the rest of it Concentration. is Concentration. It is completely without a search bar. You'll notice that. Um... And that's because it is intended for kids that do not know how to read yet. So true or false activities I'm going to get out of this and back up. Dolphin and wet so underwater bass connect the dots. Anglerfish. Here's even more that we can learn about related to sea creatures. Max and Maya visit the zoo. All right. Games. Stories. So if you stories. want to learn stories. Stories. These are not actually going to be um, like library books, but they are like short tales. Some of the, them do at include, the zoo. you'll see this one, some of them do include the Lexile level. So if you know what level your child's reading at or what level they need to work toward, this is extremely helpful for that. All right, so now we want to go back to 
the kids portion. So this is going to be more helpful for your kids that are in elementary school if they're looking to do research on a project or that kind of thing. So from here, you have that search bar that we're all used to um, using in Google and everything else. Um, <clears throat> so you can search for a topic, a you know concept, animal, anything like that. Um, you can explore random topics and categories, different articles. Um, at the bottom, it has a menu. And these icons you can browse through to learn about certain topics. So you can look through pictures and videos, focus on the world of animals, activities, maps and more, games, important people, compare places, science projects, which is especially helpful if you have to put together a science project, and dictionary. All right, so if I click on something like important people, It'll give me a variety of jobs or achievements to choose from. So if I don't know who I'm looking for, I don't, I just know that I need to pick an important person from history. I can kind of browse through here and think, hmm, I am really interested in philosophers. Okay, so then it's going to bring up articles on 30 different philosophers okay now if I decide man eh, maybe I don't want to do philosophers I have that option to change it up here at the top so I can reset that I can choose male female or both either one um, I can choose country if I need to focus on philosophers from America or wherever um, time period all of those are extremely helpful in helping you identify a topic or person that you're trying to study about. All right, so another thing I want to point out that will be useful to you guys would be science projects. So I know science projects are big in elementary school, sometimes even in middle school. So what this resource does is it breaks it down according to the topic. So you may think, I don't like microscopic life, but maybe science you can use looks cool because that's something a little bit more practical. Okay, so it gives me lots of options to choose from here, including how to do your very own science project. So some of these are already set up like that, how long before bread goes bad. The effects of temperature on popcorn. How does temperature affect soda pop fizz? So you've got lots of options here. It's going to tell you how to do this. And it'll also tell you how to complete the activity. Okay, so this is something it provides discussion questions as well. Now, if you need it read out loud to you. Introduction. It does. A soft make drink that is available. a flavored beverage. So another cool part, you'll notice that it also highlights each word as you read it. Now, not all of your kids may need that, but some of them that are more visual learners may need that extra boost to help them focus on the words in this resource. All right, so go back to World Book Kids. Notice that this uh, center topic changes all the time. So, you know, while it was Peyton Manning a few minutes ago, it's now roller coasters. Um, so it gives you lots of different options. There's just a world of knowledge here waiting for you guys. Um, you know, if you need to do maps, if you need to do games that will help you, um, kind of help you with whatever topic you're working on. Any of these will help build skills. Um, whether it's multiple choice, matching, sorting, even crossword puzzles. All right. That is it for the World Book Kids resource. If you do have any questions about it, you can always call us at 270-684-0211, extension 237. And we'll be happy to try to walk through um, what you're seeing on your screen 
with you over the phone. You are also welcome to come in person to the library to ask us for questions. And you can also utilize the chat feature in the bottom right corner of our home page. Our chat feature is always live, no matter what time of day or night. Um, we do respond to it pretty quickly during business hours. Um, so be sure to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.